So now what is split tunneling? When our VPN client connects to our VPN server, then that creates a tunnel that the information is normally encrypted in and goes through the internet and passes through our VPN server and then is connected to our internal LAN. Well, by default, our VPN client is going to be configured to pass all web traffic through that tunnel. So if this VPN client is connected to the VPN and it's trying to get to, let's say, Google.com or some other website out there on the Internet, that information or that request is actually going to be passed through the tunnel. So it's going to go through to our internal network, hit our VPN server, and then however our VPN server is configured, it might travel out through our edge firewall and then go out to the internet and go to google.com and then come back go through our internal network through our VPN server and back to through to our VPN client or again depending on how our VPN server is configured it might go through to our VPN server and then back out our VPN servers external nick hit google.com come back then go back through our, our VPN server and then back to our VPN client so this may or may not be what we want. Uh, an advantage of doing this is we have the ability to track what our clients are doing out there on the internet even when, when they're VPNed in. Because all traffic is going to pass through our internal network, we can use like proxy servers and things like that in order to track that traffic. Now if we don't want that to happen, we can configure what's called split tunneling. Split tunneling means only traffic that's destined for the subnets on our internal LAN will go through the tunnel, the VPN tunnel. Other traffic, like if this client is trying to access Google.com again or some other website out there on the internet, it will use its normal internet connection to do that. So it would go through its normal internet connection and then go straight to Google.com and come back. So it won't use the tunnel and therefore the traffic won't pass through our VPN server. And this actually saves on bandwidth, our internet bandwidth of our LAN, and is less taxing on our VPN server. And the VPN client will actually see a faster response because it's connecting directly to the external website, again, like Google.com. It's not having to go all the way through our internal network and back out and do all that before it gets the response. So that's split tunneling. Just wanted to go over it uh, and explain what it was, we'll see exactly how it works once we get the VPN set up and we get into configuring the client. But if we do want to use it, uh, we'll see next how to configure the DHCP server to make that happen. Please see part two of this YouTube playlist in order to see how to configure split tunneling and test it out. For complete VPN training, please go to itdvds.com where we go over everything about VPNs, deploying a public key infrastructure, certificates, even deploying a highly available VPN and highly available direct access solution.